Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to talk about a couple of things in regards to Steam. Game got pulled, another game got pulled, and then it came back to the Steam store. We'll talk about that, and there is a free-to-play period going on for a kind of a notable game that's relevant right now. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But first off, Fall Guys has gone free-to-play, but it has been pulled from Steam as well. It's become an Epic Game Store title, so... Um, yeah, this is an Epic Game Store deal. Uh, it is available free on the, uh, the Epic Game Store, but it is no longer available on Steam. Now, if you bought Fall Guys, it's still available for you to download and you'll be receiving updates and everything like that. It's just for anybody that wants to play the game in the future, uh, you gotta go through the Epic Game Store. That Epic Game Store money gotta be pretty spicy, so, um, yeah, I can't really blame media tonic for that one i mean i know people are gonna be upset but it is what it is it's a free-to-play game so if you do want to go check it out it'll be available on the epic game store kind of a bummer for some people i get that but hey if you did buy the game it is gonna be available for you uh in perpetuity as long as the game is being supported you will continue to receive updates and everything like that so that is at least pretty uh good um another thing to note uh, this one was kind of interesting Alice Madness Returns. I don't know what the hell is going on with this game. Obviously a title published by EA. It got pulled from Steam for a while when EA migrated to Origin. Or I don't know if the game ever came out on Steam or if Origin was already a thing. Nonetheless, it came to Steam. Then it got pulled from Steam. And now it's back on Steam. So like it keeps going through this phase of getting pulled, removed, and then coming back on Steam. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's any licensing issues or anything like that. I don't think there are, because now the game's back available. If you do want to buy it, I mean, maybe if it sees a significant discount during this summer sale, maybe just buy it just to be on the safe side if it is a game you're interested in, just because you don't know when something like this is going to happen again. I really appreciate it when developers and publishers give you a heads up before a game is going to get pulled. Like, I don't know what the deal is with this, why this is going on, why it got pulled, and then why it came back. Uh, but, yeah, for any developers or publishers that do have games with, uh, you know, licensed music, licensing, uh, that is about to expire and the game is ha having to be pulled from Steam, you know, let the audience know so they can buy the game if they want, and you should also discount the game so a lot of people will jump in and buy the game, and then, hey, that's additional revenue for you to get, and you'll probably see a surge of sales before the game is ultimately pulled from Steam or whatever storefront it is. So hopefully that becomes a regular thing. It usually is a regular thing. I believe Activision or, yeah, I think it was Activision that published like the Transformers games. And I feel like they did that. I think with Alan Wake, when that game got pulled, now it's back on Steam. But when that game got pulled, uh, they let the audience know, hey, this game is going to get pulled. If you do want it, buy it. And I remember in the case of Alan Wake, it was significantly discounted. So you would like to see that regularly, but in the case of Alice Madness Returns, for now, it's available on Steam. If you guys do see it with a significant discount during the summer sale, maybe not a bad idea to pick the game up and uh, avoid any nonsense if that does come to happen um, in the future. So thankfully, again, it is back, but we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, I would expect it to be 5 bucks during the summer sale. If, any, if it's anything more than that, I don't know, $9.99 is kind of pricey, but for 5 bucks, I think it would be a pretty decent pickup. Lastly, I do want to note Outriders, a game that did not see a great reception when it initially dropped. However, people can fly Square Enix. They've been consistently updating the game, and there's a brand new um, expansion coming out in Outriders World Slayer. That's dropping later this week, so obviously it's got a core community of people playing the game. Let's look at how many people are playing it on Steam right now. Uh, if this page is going to load. 3,800. So it's not like there's a ton of people playing it through Steam, but uh, it is available on consoles as well. But I should also note, there is a play to free, uh, play for free period that is running through this midweek period. This will be lasting for another day or two. So if you do want to check it out, you can jump in with some friends. They're doing this to promote the World Slayer expansion, which again is dropping later this week. The game itself is discounted for 22 bucks. If you do want to pick up uh, the World Slayer uh, expansion with Outriders, that is $53.94. That's discounted as well. Um, kind of pricey there. World Slayer itself, the upgrade if you already own the base game is $36. So yeah, kind of a pretty penny there, but uh, what you gonna do? At least you can play the game free uh, during this midweek period if you do want to check it out. But that's gonna do it for me. Again, Fall Guys has gone free to play, but the game has been pulled from Steam. Alice Madness Returns, don't know 
what's going on there, but during the summer sale, if it does see a steep discount, I'll let you guys know, and maybe not a bad idea to pick it up, and Outriders seeing a play-for-free period uh, during this midweek, uh, June 20th until the 23rd, so you got a couple more days to check it out, and uh, if you pre-order World Slayer, you do get early access to it, of like 48 hours early access, but that's gonna do it for me, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section, as always, have a great one, and I will catch you guys in the next one, peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.